Bob. SpongeBob is on. <laughs> Good morning! Time to pack, which luckily I didn't bring too much. All my clothes are pretty much just here. <laughs> just wanted to clarify because I saw in the comments when people are going back and forth about what I had in my luggage. A curling iron. Was that good? Okay, or guys. Is that good? <laughs> No, people thought it was a you-know-what, <laughs> but even if I did have it, there's nothing wrong with that either. So, uh, I just thought that was funny. <laughs> Time to get ready. And are you going to wear your dressy outfit? Actually, when we get back home, we're going to a dinner, and it's for the Rescue Freedom, the charity that we did for Dan Sember last year. I think I'm going to go more casual. I do not want to wear the shoes that I've been wearing the past two nights for, like, cocktail dress. It's my feet hurt too bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this place. I feel like I'm in Rome right now. I had a great sleep even though it was only four hours and I had to stop by my favorite place here of all the places. It just goes to show you how much of a foodie I am. Juice farm, cold press. I was thinking about getting a smoothie. Look, they got all these good things. Remember from the menu, there's coconut in that, kale, spinach, grapes, pineapple. What else? Anything else? A oh, banana. Yeah, that's a good one. Look at all that wheatgrass. Turkey and cheese sandwich, or it looks kind of like a baguette. And then this. Warmed up croissant ham and cheese. Mm. Boom. Shout out to Laura Vitale. She tweeted me and she recommended I go to the bakery. There's two bakeries here, but I have a feeling this is the one. If it's not, this is also hella good. Took me the longest time to figure this out. I was looking for like some kind of rope or something. It's all the way over here. How cool is that? Yeah, it's still pretty dark in here. <laughs> it's because of the way we're positioned. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see the mountains down there. Oh, cool. Goodbye, nice hotel. Nice it's been hotel. fabulous. Gonna say goodbye to Sean and Sonia. Oh, we just saw Micah and Val and their flights later today. Amy and Julian already left this morning. Yeah, it's been a good two days. Just enough time. There's only so much of Vegas that I can handle at least. I had a great time. My favorite moments were in bed. This is only half the line. There's also this. On the bright side, it's actually moving very fast. Like, I think we stopped once or twice. at our gate that was like although it was a long line it went by really fast and security check it wasn't even a security check they're like yeah just run your bags through I didn't have to take out any of the liquids so the it was laptops, very my convenient stayed in my suitcase they didn't have to take off shoes awesome I can't get over how there's slots nice literally thing. everywhere in Vegas Las Vegas has stepped up their terminal again so Juliana is with Benji's parents and the twins are with my parents and it's so cute, like they've been sending us photos the whole weekend. Oh, Juliana is with Grampy and they're playing in their living room. That's so cute. And look, she even has her friends, Rhino and Dragon. <laughs> Here's a funny one of Kira. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. There's Wait, is that Kira or Mia? That's Kira. Oh my gosh, and there's Mia swimming. Wait, is that Mia? It was like half off. Don't give me those lips, honey. We're having some technical issues because we can't see what's on the screen. Do you have a mirror? No. Because this is reversed. I think it's a conversion. Don't get it. What? It just fell off. Why have they been falling off lately? Because I'm using a different glue. Oh no. And it's so hot here. I think we got a negative review coming on here. Yeah. Come on, duo. Or it's probably just old. Honey, turn off your phone. Waiting. Breaking oh, the law. Oh, selection of fruits, some cheeses, I believe, Seattle. Are they? Uh, oh, beachers. Uh, dark chocolate. Ooh, snack olives. Herbs, That's interesting. Spice. 
Mediterranean apricots. What makes it Mediterranean? Um, they're from the Mediterranean. Almonds. Is it unsalted? A white. Ooh, awesome. Guess what you put on that? Hummus. Hummus. No, man. Rescue Freedom. We're here at the Rescue Freedom dinner. If you guys don't know, if maybe you're new subscribers, we have an annual fundraiser called Dance Ember. Last year we raised money uh, to help rescue boys and girls in sex slavery, and we worked with Rescue Freedom. This is like their annual event. We raised over $200,000. But this event is to celebrate all the efforts that Rescue Freedom does throughout the year and it's going to highlight some testimonials and we want to show you guys and share with you guys what they're all about. So they partnered with Sozo to oh, have cool. Rescue Freedom wine yeah. and I believe some of the proceeds go towards Rescue Freedom. It's water that's filtered uh, here at the hotel. The Northwest already has great water. That's good. And it's done here. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> I drank this too fast. <coughs> they have a filtration system. They get their water and they bottle this here. It's a ten thousand dollar machine. Yeah. I'm having the salmon. It looks like there's quinoa and carrots, green beans. Benji's having a steak. New York. There's no surprise there. And potatoes and asparagus. There's these images and ideals out there of what does it mean for someone to be rescued from sex trafficking. But talk to us about what does that look like in the real world? What, is, what really takes place and how does that work within Rescue Freedom, the sites that we work with? A lot of these places, it actually starts with what we would call street outreach. And that can look anything like opening up a medical clinic. A lot of the women in, in areas of high sexual exploitation uh, as you can imagine, disease is rampant, and poverty is rampant, and so there's very few places that, and very few people that will go and, and care for them. Um, in places like India and throughout Asia, where you have caste systems and stigma associated with these people, there's a lot of people that won't even go into the red light district to offer medical care. And so, uh, what initially that very first site started with was street outreach, building relationship, providing medical care, providing food for children, providing a, uh, tutoring programs for the young children who were born into the brothels to mothers who had been trafficked. The, the guy on the line was saying, hey, I, I have this web show and it's a daily web show and, and we have some people that are, that are viewing our web show and what we want to do, we heard about Rescue Freedom through a friend and excited about what you're doing, we want to raise some funds for you and through the month of December, I thought that's precious, you know, it's, it's probably his Aunt Dorothy and, you know, some online stalkers or something that are watching him every day. And uh, I started looking around and these guys are web superstars. I mean, they literally, this couple had a million people around the world following them. Benji and Judy. Benji, tell us a little about it. This is Benji and Judy Travis, web superstars right here on the stage. <laughs> We understand our influence and um, it's really important to us to give back because we've been blessed with so much. And uh, a few years ago, Virgin Mobile actually approached us about fundraising money for homeless youth in the U U.S. Uh, it was a $3,000 goal. We were like really proud to take that on. We hit $5,000. We thought, you know what, this is something fun we want to continue doing. Last year was our fourth year of doing it. And it's a, it's a fundraiser we do every December that's called Dance Ember. We've been able to um, you know, work with incredible people. And again, we don't want to take the credit because there's also other YouTubers that we're friends with that also help that co-broadcast with us co-hosts. So that's Dance Ember in a nutshell. And the reason why I'm not on the dancing part is that we strategically felt if I danced, the money would start going down. <laughs> oh, Judy, you guys, you guys do this each year, and you, you invest in different organizations, different work around the world. This year you chose Rescue Freedom, and I'm just curious, 
Can you tell us a little bit about why? I've always had a passion for kids. Um, I worked at a foster care agency when I was in college, and so seeing hands-on kids that are in need, I always wanted to help. When I put myself in their shoes, and I think, okay, would I ever want my children to be like those boys and girls that are just trapped in sex trafficking? I couldn't even fathom that, so I knew when I heard about Rescue Freedom that you had to be a part of it and you had to help. You know, it's been an honor to partner with you and to work with you to see over $200,000 come in because of your efforts. And We've had people from Morocco and the Philippines and Indonesia and New Zealand become part of the Rescue Freedom family because you said, hey, we want to involve our community with what you're doing. So thank you so much. We appreciate that. And can you uh, express appreciation for that? I'm a child welfare officer for Bombay Teen Challenge, and I work as a social worker, and I do sort of counseling with children and women, women in the Bombay Teen Challenge. I mostly work with the government and I make sure that we are in compliance and we are in good terms with them. So we're just getting out of dinner and it was so touching, like hearing the testimony from uh, a girl from India. She came and she told us her story and I, I couldn't help but cry. It was so heartbreaking and it just makes me want to go home and hug our girls. Home. Yeah, I'm so excited. Really excited. Hopefully they'll still be awake. Um, we actually kind of snuck out during the raffle, but uh, I look forward to going home. <laughs> hey Mia! 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 <laughs> SpongeBob is on. Oh my <laughs> Your friend German got you something too. It's for Mia. What do you say, Mia? Oh. Wow. Look at, look at how hard is she. Oh. I'll try on the hat. Thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you. Mm. Was Grampy goofy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out of all the snacks, JB wanted her pretzels. Roll gold. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. We can we all can have snacks. Can Bunny eat it? Wow. Is that yummy? <laughs> Our bathrooms aren't 100% done yet, and I honestly don't even want to see it until the big it's reveal. Done. Yeah. So, we're going to be seeing that at my parents' house the next few days. Cool. What was that? Was that real or was that fake? No, that was real. <laughs> I'm going to call it a night and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I'm at the juice stand. Sorry, I'm vlogging here. I'm a vlogger.